Oh, Darren, more. Give me more. <laughs> Jessica, it's not right. I have, I have loyalties. I have a conscience. I know, I know. And that's not all you have. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll make a game of it. Ooh. I tell you what I know. And when I'm wrong, you stop me. <laughs> I know that Northern Electric has developed a bigger, better television screen. But the business world thinks that they're bankrupt. Don't stop. You mean I'm right? Oh, yes. Yes. But the bankruptcy is only a rumor. And in reality, Northern is as alive and vibrant as ever. Yes. yes. And if I can engineer stop. a takeover of Northern before they announce their television screen in two weeks, I could make a killing. Don't stop. Oh, yes. Don't stop. You mean I'm right? I mean, don't stop. I stop if I'm wrong. It's your integrity as a lawyer that we're preserving. You have to be honest. Okay. They're gonna make an announcement on Monday. So if you want to make a killing, you have to take over the company tomorrow. Is that right? Yes. Yes, it's right. What? Oh, Darren, you're really terrific. I, I only wish we had more time. I do. Not tonight, you don't. You call me every day. Huh? Told her to buy Northern Electric and she believed it. Yeah, it all happened just as you said. I finally got her, Darren. God, she recommends buying that dog and she's done in the investment world. Finished. Quit. Can't believe it! Quite a performance you gave in there. How was it, really? Just as you remember. Yeah. She's sensual, she's responsive. Well, she does this one great thing with her tongue. Yeah, it's just amazing, isn't it? You can't even see the fork. Oh, listen. Thanks again. Yeah. How you want? Forget it. Did it work? <laughs> you told Tanner that you told me to buy Northern Electric and he believed you? And he really thinks it's worthless. It happened, just as you said it would. <gasps> By the way, prototype is on its way to you first thing in the morning. Sensational. And Tanner, was he, um, curious? Oh, yeah. So he's suffering. Oh, he is out of his little mind with jealousy. Good. Well, good night. Good night? That's it? Good night? WLS 980 on your radio dial. The weather in Chicago is cool, a cool 55 degrees, and the wind off the lake is 15 miles an hour. Tough night for the Blackhawks. Mr. Kindred, this is for you. Have a nice day.
Good morning, Mr. Franco. The automatic wake-up system has been activated in your personalized layover berth. By Romco. Caution, caution. There is no smoking in the layover berth. By Romco. You have five seconds before the automatic sprinkler system begins. Five, four, three. Thank you. And remember, this layover berth By Romco. is the perfect solution to maximizing employee efficiency. Yeah, yeah, that's why we're building this room, you stupid machine. FYI, it's a sultry 82 degrees in LA. The opening price of gold in London was 434 an ounce. The free will occur. What do you think? You have the good sense to install the layover berth. By Romco. Ah. McNally, isn't it? New corporate operations liaison, former uh, free uh, style uh, surf champ of the North Shore, am I right? Wow, how do you know all this stuff? Doug Franco, associate, m and I'm the guy who recommended you, Pete. Oh, gee, I thought it was my... So, what do you think so far, huh? huh? Gonna improve our way of doing things? Well, I, I like to think that we can Im improve and, and grow. Um, look, look at surfboards. Uh, they used to be real long, and now they're real short. Long, then short. Now a growth concept. Yeah, oh, Doug, Doug. Do you know where my office is? Down the hall, left and right. Your name's on the door. Oh, okay. I get really confused indoors. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, Hudson. Be missed. You look exquisite in that ensemble. This old thing? Popular number. Saw the same ensemble on that Reddit. What's her name down on number 10? You didn't. Yeah. So you ready for your presentation at the staff meeting? Oh, is that this morning? Yes, it is. Well, you must be ready. Well, I've got a couple of tricks up my sleeve. You sound very confident. What can I say? Good luck. Well, good luck to you, too. Richard Wright, please. You got Richard Wright. Ricardo! Simon Tanner. Got something, do you? Yeah, I know you're always looking for tidbits to fill up that nasty little space you like to call a column. You want to get to the point? Yes, I might be persuaded. Say dinner at the club? Okay, you're on. But this better be good. Okay. It appears the brain trust around here wants to go after Northern Electric. Northern Electric? Yeah. Whose idea was that? Jessica Pierce. Oh, come on, Simon. Is this like the time you had that hot real estate tip for me that turned out to be the apartment next door to Jessica's? What did you want me to do, bug her bedroom? No, no, this is for real. And you, my friend, get the scoop on the kindred shakeup that's gonna happen when Jessica gets booted. You're absolutely sure about this? Rico, not to worry. Look somewhere else! What a creep. Oh, Artie. We 
haven't finished yet. Finished? Finished now? Are you kidding me? Oh, Pokey Poo, you know how upset you get when we don't finish. I bet my wife said her. Did she take any pictures? Oh, Artie, don't be silly. That girl doesn't know the difference between a limo and an elevator. I'm telling you, she was some kind of a spy. They're mighty sneaky upstairs. Arthur, relax. Listen, those pit bulls would kill to find out who I'm going to recommend for partner. <laughs> Artie, forget about the office. It's just you and me for 20 more minutes. Me and you? Me and the boss. Oh, that's right. You're absolutely right. I mean, so what if I've lost some of my big clients lately? All I need to do is find a way to look productive. Yes. Huh? Oh, yes. Hell, I am the boss. Oh, yes. ah. Mr. Strickland always takes a pencil on the right. Miss Pierce sits to the right of him. Mr. DeFranco, right here. And Mr. Tanner, that's my boss. Anywhere. He's so easy to work with. It's a damn shame, it really is. A shame? Something happens to people in business. Oh, I guess you should know it all since you've been assigned to Pierce. College sweethearts, Jessica and Tana. The dream couple when they started their own firm together. Well, what happened? She comes home from closing their first major deal, and there he is under the sheets with some corporate bimbo headhunter. That's awful. Tanner spent the last three years trying to get off the hook with Jessica. It's the competition between the two of them that's put this department on the map. Now then, Miss Bean always sits here. Mr. Franco across from her. Those two are never on the same side of anything. Remember that if you're here tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Внимание, пошла вон собачка. Miss Whitney. Fortune, very, very impressive. Uh -huh. Let's see. Ah, a money major. Let me ask you something. Why would a smart girl like you want to intern with Carolyn Bean? Exciting, isn't it? By re-leveraging their debt structure, we can get the company in the black in six months. And, of course, help a great many people. Of course. Very nice meeting. Sandy, put her on the list. What happened to the other one? She found a quicker way to an entry-level position. Mm. Thank oh God for higher education. Swell office they gave you. I do some of my best work in there. I love this job. Girls, you be going places. You stuck with me. Well, welcome to the Kindred Group. Buster. Down there. You? <laughs> oh. 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 Buster. What do I have to do to get a secretary around here? That's you. Good luck. You're gonna need it. My, my, what have we here? We have uh, a Jenny Malmquist. How very special. Ten minutes late and a diminutive for a first name. 
Your engraved invitation won't be ready for weeks. In a little while, a very large item will be delivered. Sit, sit. It's important that no one know what it is, understand? Yes, ma'am. This is a red letter day, Mom Quist. We may very well see a man throw himself out the window. Good morning. Sorry I'm late. I was breaking in the new temp. Oh, no, you're in a good mood. A higher state of being. The happy collision of luck, fate, and inspiration. You mean you found another way to set up Jessica? <laughs> She's nailed this time, Beth. She'll be out of a job with no one to turn to. And what'll I do? Finally tell her that you love her. You know what I think? Yeah, you think you can have my office if you get me declared legally insane. Which caring about Jessica would be. No, I think you have this fantasy of Jessica in calico baking apple pies. Well, just looking for a happy ending. Reform Jessica? Save her from herself? And take her out of here before it's too late. Beth, 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 this is the world of hardball business. Dog eat dog, big fish, big ponds. There's no room for that kind of noble behavior here. Exactly. Buster, I'd love to find you here. I'm just dropping off your mail, Miss Hasselstein. Stein, don't run away. I don't want to hurt you. I want to help you. Come here, stand by my desk. Closer. Closer. I've been admiring your skills. Oh, I'm just trying to do my job, Miss Hasselstein. Stein, the executive training program could use a man with your... Qualifications. Why, with the right recommendation, shall we pursue this line of discussion further? In private? Expect Mr. Kenrid's arrival at 3 p.m. at LAX. Observe all the usual amenities. Hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Huh? What? How'd you get by Astrid? Uh, I'm McNally, sir. Peter, I, uh, I was hired last week as the corporate liaison officer. I knew that. Uh, Miss Hasselstein? Miss Hasselstein. Oh, uh, sir, this, this fax came for you, and, and I uh, think it's kind of important. Oh, the old man's coming today? Oh, my God. Out. Now. Oh, oh no, no. I've, I've changed my mind. It's okay. It's okay. You can go. Who else knows about this? Well, there's, um, there's, there's, there's you, and then there's me, and then there's the guy who sent it, I guess. Oh, okay. Now, nobody else is supposed to know about this, you understand? Yes, sir. Because we don't want to make people... We, we, we don't want to make... We don't want people nervous. Yes, sir. That's good, boy. Now, you get your ass out of here. Well, I try to figure out how to save mine. You guys can go, too, you know. Miss Pierce, it's time for your meeting. And that item you expected is here. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> How sweet. Now, Ginny, at exactly 11.05, I want you to wheel this into the conference room. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Good. I am just tingling with anticipation. Oh, me too. Really? You like this job? Oh, yes. What a shame. Oh, good. Let's use the conference room. <laughs> a string of
of anti-smoking clinics. There's no money in this. Cynic. What corruption are you peddling this week? Oh, a tobacco company. That's right. You slime. It's as vile as that sleeping area you're building to screw my interns. Hey, hey, hey. FYI, the layover suite is the height of efficiency. It saves on employee driving time. And for your information, Chichester Tobacco Company happens to be a little slice of Americana, which we can get for a song. Well, we obviously can't buy both, can no, we? No, we can't, so why don't you... Oh, boss! Oh, good morning, Mr. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Hey, I got an idea. Just you take a look right over here. Two parts of the tobacco so far. And that in short is gonna make your day. I get Seven years ago, Northern Electric, family-owned and operated in Winnetka, Illinois, went public in an effort to find the funds to beat the Japanese at their own game of sophisticated electronics. Their goal? A high-resolution, inexpensive, oversized TV screen. This morning, I initiated a takeover, an offer which, with your authorization, Mr. Strickland, will provide them with the funds to go into immediate production and to commence a private labeling strategy. You say you already initiated the offer? You put it on the table for the world to see? Please, Tanner, I have the floor. Northern could be providing their product within six months. Yeah. Yeah, they could. If they actually had one. What? I have it right here, Jessica. They put all their money into it and couldn't get it to work. It doesn't work? Well, maybe we have to uh, plug it in. Blood fist, huh? Love this film. everything but he was my lawyer my friend and I gave him money I didn't well yes wow you plug it in and wow. excuse me now I think I've seen enough very interesting presentation Pierce I will uh, make a decision Monday. Monday? But, sir, Monday will be too late. Northern stock will skyrocket by then when they make the announcement. You know how paranoid Kindred is of competing with the Japanese. I have to run this past them. Fine, let's call him. Well, are you telling me how to do my job? Arthur, no, of course this not. This meeting is adjourned. It's adjourned. 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 on that. Thanks for ruining it for the rest of us. Huh, you yeah, really did it. Smooth move, Pierce. You know, it took me close to a half an hour to prepare this. I wonder what makes them so aggressive. Steroids? I don't want to sound like I'm blowing my own horn, Cyrus, but this could be the coup of a lifetime. Oh, I'm sure you're not blowing your own horn, Arthur. See, a takeover of Northern now could mean the single most profitable transaction in Kindred history. Looking forward to talking to you with that. I mean, I can't wait to meet with you on this idea. Well, congratulations, my friend. I can, uh... Hardly wait to see the prospectus. I'm curious how you came up with this idea. Gotta run. Do you have a minute? Pierce. Pierce, how nice to see you. Arthur, we need to talk. Oh, if it's about Northern. No, I... it's about us. I'm afraid I alienated you in there today, and I'm sorry. No, no, it's all right. It's my fault. It was my fault. You're so forgiving, Arthur. I know that we could be close again. Uh, this is reception. Mr. Wright from Financial Daily called. He said, go blank yourself. Should have been there, Beth. Crushed her. Mm. Modern Dr. Frankenstein, huh? Forced to destroy the monster you created yourself. Sounds ugly. There, there. Maybe the townspeople will set on fire. I'd be happy to supply the lighter fluid. Look, you tried, you failed. So what? Give it up. What, surrender? Never. Boss, come on. Just let yourself off the hook. Forgive yourself. You know that nothing short of divine intervention can break down our defenses. 
Maybe God with a jackhammer. I want to be your confidant, Arthur. I want to share your pain. My pain? Your doubt. My doubt? It must be so lonely, knowing everything that you do, all the secrets of the inner sanctum, holding it all back. It must be torture. Let's play a little game. You lost, boss. Face it. She doesn't need you. Beth, take a letter. Here you go. Dear Mr. Strickland, I hereby resign my membership in this club of bottom dwellers. It's time, boss. You type. I'll sign. Well, you've seen my perspective. Oh, yes, indeed. So you agree that we should buy Northern today? Of course, we should buy Northern today. Well, but then why wait till Monday when we could do it all now? Right now. Oh, Jessica, if only I know you felt this way, it could have been you I was cheating on. Yes, Arthur, yes. I knew we could come together on this, but let's be perfectly open with each other. Always. It couldn't be that you're blocking my move for Northern because you wanted to steal it for yourself. You knew? Just a hunch. But now everyone will know. You make an excellent witness, Arthur. And I'm right, aren't I? <gasps> All because Kindred is coming into town today? You son of a bitch. Jessica, what have you done? I I'll get some water. It's not the way it looks. Kindred is coming today, and that swine Strickland was going to steal Northern out from under me. It's okay, Jesse. Damn it. I spilled it. You're not divine, but you're the intervention we need to be together. Go with me on this, Arthur. Here. It's too late. He's dead. No. Don't worry. He's, uh, he's just a little cold, like a piece of sushi. <gasps> Look at him. He can't, can't just lie there. The police will handle it. The police? But I didn't do anything wrong. Not, not really. Jessica, a man is dead from a crime of passion. Passion? I didn't even like him. Does this sound like passion to you? You're blocking my move because you want to steal Northern for yourself. Excellent. Go make your confession quicker. Confession? I am about to close a deal that will make me a full partner. Well, I imagine that's up to Kindred himself now. He's an odd old bird. Having a corpse around might work in your favor. Get up, goddammit! I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm very, very sorry. Easy, easy, Jess. You're innocent. There's not a newspaper in this country I won't defend you to. But I'll be ruined. You know how people think. Yes, yes, the cold-hearted sons of bitches. Or if there's only some way we could delay the inevitable. That's it. Well, he's already dead. He doesn't care how or when he's found. Are you suggesting we stash his body until you close the Northern deal and Kindred's come and gone? Well, yes. Look, we'll store him in here. We can't do that. It's his own office. People will look for him. Fine, here. fine. So later we'll find a proper place for him. Now, why did he die? Um, um, I got it. He came to you to confess about stealing my idea. The more he confessed, the more upset he got. Boom, he's dead. What do I get out of this? I'll share the credit of Northern with you. And? And? And we call a truce. You mean I forgive you? That's the deal. Forget it. Impossible. Take it or leave it. All right. I'll take it. Good. Now, remember, act normal. Never mind, you just killed a man. It's a great plan. Then you agree that we 
should buy Northern today. Oh, don't stop. Yes, of course we should buy Northern today. Well, you heard the order. We buy Northern today. What? Now, wait a minute. Hey, he sure sounds weird. About the tender offer. I don't believe a word of this. He's the boss. He changed his mind. Why? And where is he? Be because Kendrick is coming into town today and Strickland went to pick him up at the airport? What? Oh, damn, I wasn't supposed to say anything about the facts. Kendrick here? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Why didn't I know about this? Now you do. There's something rotten about this Pearson. I, for one, will have nothing to do with it. Fine, be that way. Now, look, with Mr. Strickland gone, I need the two of you to sign a letter of intent. <laughs> yeah, so you can make partner. Why don't ask me to set myself on fire? Forget it, Pierce. Go after him, Jess. We need his signature. Paint life grand sometime. So, since we're both new, how about lunch? Wow, what a cool idea. <laughs> Get a show, huh? Yeah, get a show, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, guys, let me ask you a question. Uh, what's your gross annual income? Anything we can get behind here, Kindred? Uh, rubles, ili, dollars. <laughs> rubles, dollars makes no difference to me. Gotta go. Doug, uh, it's important that we talk. As old friend. Gee, what a special thought. <laughs> okay, I, I deserve that. But please, I, I need your signature on that letter of intent. Oh, God, your hand is so cold. What have you been holding a fish or something? Fish? Yeah. Like sushi? What? Well? He suspects something. He said I felt like a fish. People know. Calm down. Calm down. We have to act normal. Just go to lunch. Alone? We can't go together. We hate each other, remember? Get back early and we'll move the body. Lunch. Yes, move body. Okay. Something intervened. I found my divine jackhammer. Oh, Beth, Beth, Beth. After lunch, I want you to call security. Tell them there's been a, uh, a robbery. Yeah, two people pushing a gurney must be stopped at all costs. Block all exits, check all vehicles. You got it? Got it? Yes, get it? No. Well, can't make it easy for her. Can I? No pain, no gain. Oh, Beth. Beth, I feel reborn. is much bigger than we ever imagined. This company is dripping sex. The backstabbing and the lies, and this Jessica Pierce, what a piece of work. No chance they're on to you. No, 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 they don't suspect a thing. Well, if you think you can really make some... Uh... Look, I gotta go. What do you mean you gotta... My, uh, fringe benefit is getting antsy. Is something wrong? You, you, you seem different. Oh, no, just, you know, first day jitters. <laughs> oh, so lighten up. Oh, thank you. Listen, Peter, I know it's only our first day and all, but do you get the feeling that there's something going on that we don't know about? There's always something going on that I don't know about. <laughs> you really are like this, aren't you? Um, 
Yeah. You're not like the other people around here, either. Yeah. Well, you don't know me very well. Oh, um... You see, people are like waves. Uh, you develop an instinct for the ones that are gonna crush you and for the ones that you can cruise with. Why did you give up surfing? The wrong wave. It threw me into some coral and shattered my knee. Work on that instinct. Well, I'm okay here. I mean, what can happen to me in an office? I'm going to make sure they hear my presentation. She out to lunch? Ah, yes, the manic Germanic. It's safe, Mr. B. Yep, we're gonna miss this place. We? You, what, you, you don't, what they say about the guilty returning to the scene of the crime. I guess they're right. Carolyn, maybe no one needs to know about this. You think so? Well, yeah. Sure, remember what you said about us not buying a tobacco company and a string of anti-smoking Yes, clinics? yes, I said that. Why not? We could go in on this thing together. We can get a common end going. Be the disease yeah. and the cure. Yeah. And without Strickland blocking us... We could find the financing ourselves. Generate a private offering. And if we do it before Kindred arrives, we'll both make partner. <laughs> but what about... We'll put him in Jessica's office. <laughs> <laughs> Douglas. Why has it taken us so long to become teammates? I don't know. Grab his feet.
I'm not handling this well at all. I just hallucinated you in my office. Damn. They're all back. They're never on time. Why today? Must be excited about Kindred coming. I know I am. Wait. That's it. A reception for Kindred in the conference room. You get them in there, and I'll... I'll hide Strickland in one of Franco's layover birds. It's your party. You lure them into the conference room. I couldn't entice a roach into a filthy oven in this condition. Try something new. How about heart? Honesty. That's advice. Look, you take care of them, I'll take care of Arthur. All right, all right. Good. As some of you may know, Mr. Kindred himself will visit with us today. In his honor, we're throwing an impromptu reception. In the conference room. Starting now. It's very important that we show Mr. Kindred what a well-oiled and happy, yes, happy machine we are. Okay. Fifty bucks ahead. Who's first? Well, well, isn't this fun? Do let's earn that fifty, shall we? Stick around this time, huh, Arthur? This should give us hours together. Kabuki dancers? He hates them. Kindred hates everything Japanese. It's just a guess. Kabuki dancers, what do you think? Wonderful, I love it. reception is perfect. Our investors have to come in and sign up in person, right? Right. So, nice, elegant reception, couple of drinks, bingo, we get them. Yes, yes, and my interns can call the investors. Douglas, this could really be the start of something, couldn't it? Me? I like the way you think. Go call them now. I'll cover for you. Jessica! Yes, we need your help this afternoon, right away. Buster. No, Buster doesn't have anything to do with this. Just get down here. Hello, yes, I'd like to speak with Bliss Lavoy. <clears throat> do the right thing by this. Well? I lost him. You lost? What did he do, escape? I set it up. You had it made. Well, it's just one of those things. Just what? Losing your boss's corpse is not just one of anything. My God. There he is. I knew that. <laughs> Champagne. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, plan B. Plan B, uh... I've got it. I've got it. The, the tanning salon. He and what's-her-name met there twice a week. They get lost in lust and he sautés. Wasn't he on his back before? I'm still working on how he got out of the closet. Look at them all. You'd think they'd been tipped off. Don't get paranoid on me, Jess. I need your while. Let's try the rear service entrance. Not to worry.
Boy, it's been ages since we've done anything together, huh? Remember those wonderful drives up through the Berkshires? No. Yeah, me neither. How tidy. Strickland's mistress will be at his side when he's discovered. Could be kind of rough on her, though. Cry me a river. All the little tramp ever wanted was his money. No, no, they were very close. Don't you remember? She blamed her suicide attempt on him. Oh, she did not. She never... Look, it's your call. You know, if you want her blood on your hands, too, fine. Typical. It is so typical. Leave it to you to see her side of it. Just like you and that bimbo headhunter. What did you see in her anyway? Jessica. <laughs> Isn't there a law against hunting below the belt? Oh, well, she does remember. Just the excuses. She was trying to recruit us as a team. Very clever strategy. Huh? I, I do the books, you do the bookkeeper. What is it about all this that's so unnerving? I can't imagine. Look, let's, uh, let's try the roof. Nobody goes up there. You drive. What do you mean you're reporting to me? You aren't the girls I interviewed. You, We want investors in here, not Johns. Hey, girl. You called us. We work, you pay us. We split, you still pay us. You figure it out. Here you go, Bean. Got the report, excuse me. Got the report to all the investors worked out. How did I miss these? Jesus, Bean, you have better taste than I thought. And you have even le Just go over the pitch. Okay. Well, it goes like this. Hello. We have a wonderful opportunity for you here at the Kindred Group today. Kimberly, Jack, Consuela. Hey, qué pasó, Buster? Lucy, you too? I got your call. I didn't know you had so much pull around here. Yeah, well, maybe around here, I'm number one. Well, I mean, except in my book, you are. Hmm, I better be. See you tonight, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up the phone. Wow, so you guys heard about Sean on 11? Are you kidding? The whole building knows. That's <laughs> funny. Kinder Corporation. Give me our street. Can I ask who's calling, please? This is Cyrus Kindred. Mr. Kindred? I thought Mr. Strickland went to the airport to pick you up. No, just let me talk to him. Ever every joke, all right? Well, I'm just a temp and it's only my first day. <laughs> but I guess I'm in charge. Why don't you grab a cab and we'll reimburse you? California. Taxi! Headline, the Kindred Group. Investment firm or fraternity party? <clears throat> Question, where's the boss? And what does Jessica Pierce have to do with his absence? Hello there. I have an excellent opportunity for you today here at the Kindred Group. Oh, of course, it does require personal appearance. Carol and I underestimated you hiring these girls. You got my respect. <laughs> this isn't a reception. It's Armageddon. Kindred will skin us alive. Ah, don't worry about it. Kindred will forgive anything as long as it makes money. Come on, we got work to do. <laughs> Look at that. It's like there's some kind of dragnet out on guilty women executives. Hold on. What are you trying to do? Kill me? Get in line. What?
Fuck in this loop, I just lost him. Damn, it's not an express. Oh good, a milk train. More time to chat. What the hell are you doing back there? Oh, he's just coming loose. Oh no. Defining new professionalism or redefining the world's oldest profession? You decide. Hello, I'm Lucy. How are you? Are you the one I spoke to? What I do? Do what? That's up to you. I just have myself a freshener here and Beautiful. Yeah. I can't. 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 I
Doug Frank. How yeah. you doing? Hi. My associate. Carolyn Veeve. What we're offering here are shares of a privately financed limited partnership. So far, we've accrued, uh... 23.7 million. 23.7 million. And what do you get for your minimum $800,000 investment? Go on. I'm trying to quit. In that case, I think you're really going to appreciate, uh, this private offering. Offering or secret plot? And just where is Miss Masterplot herself, Jessica Pierce? Didn't she really set this in motion to purchase Northern Electric? And why has she vanished? What could possibly distract her from completing a venture that only this morning seems so important? Oh, video. What a great idea. I mean, what's a party without video? Continued employment. But Miss Pierce said that we're supposed to uh, show how happy we are. Yes, and, and where is she? She's working, probably, while, while we have all this fun. I'll go find her. You're really sweet. Why didn't I meet you while I still had a heart? Jess, I'm not really sure how you're gonna feel about this. It's a little extreme, but uh, here's my thought. It's just this. We dump them over the side and write a suicide note. Messy, but simple, huh? It's not exactly inspired, but uh, hey, what are you gonna do? Yeah, these prices. Well, so? What are you doing? Jessica, throw him off the roof. Did you think I meant that? Oh, Jessica. You'll never change, will you? I was foolish even to try. But I have changed. Honest. No, I... Beth is right. You can't forgive me. If you could have, you would have. But I would. I, I can. I, I do. No, no, you can't. You don't. I know you're just saying that. Tanner, let me forgive you. Clearly, the only deal you can live up to is buying Northern. Go back and do it. I'll take care of Strickland. And assume full responsibility Wait. in honor of our love that never was. Can't go. Ever. Shoot. Go on. I'll co-sign. I'll get Franco to co-sign, too. Whatever it takes. Fine. Help me get him aboard the elevator. Come on. What are you going to do? With him, I mean. What's the difference? You could put him in the gym. Pretend he died pumping iron. <laughs> you'll, you'll need a key. Please. Let me do that much. Looks like somebody's been having a good time. Oh, uh, listen, I'm, I'm a little worried. We're almost out of sushi, and, and Mr. Kindred isn't here yet.
done it. $35.5 million worth of private offerings. Yes, it's all having such a, an effect on me. Hmm. Something strange. Yes. Something primitive. Yes. Don't fight it, Carolyn. I know what you want. I've always known. Negotiate me. Arthur, this is the locket I gave Jessica on her first year anniversary. <laughs> oh. It was my fault. Sweet kid. Oh, man. What a jerk. Oh, I'm sorry, Arthur. We're just not ready for you yet. Oh, no, you don't. I think that this explains everything. To whom it may concern, I hereby confess to full responsibility for the death of my nasty but legally innocent investment associate, Arthur Strickland. A confession, isn't that only right? One keystroke and it goes to all the world branches in the press. Huh. You've already committed professional homicide. Why make it worse with professional suicide? Please come with me. God, I wish you'd just get up. What if it were that simple? Well, then you'd be a complete asshole. Right. Just ask. <clears throat> well, let's, uh, let's play a little game. I'll, uh, I'll tell you what I know to be true, and uh, you stop me if I'm wrong. You know that, kid? I taught it to you in college. Today has been a day we'll never forget. No matter how hard we try, don't stop. Without this lucky incident, we'd never have shared this precious time. I'm not so lucky for Strickland, but who cares? Don't stop. It's only some hideous quirk of fate that's reunited us here in investment hell. Not fate, me. After we split up, I pulled strings to get you here. You're the reason I'm here? Yes, of course. <laughs> because you still love me down deep? No, because I hated you up front. What good is success if you can't rub it in the face of the person you love? But you realize the legendary skill you use to achieve your ends is wrong. Wrong? I don't know. A means to an end, yes, but... This is what counts. <sighs> Simon, you idiot. You're still the only one. You called me Simon. I heard it. You did, didn't you? That's your name. <laughs> Funny place to party, huh? Hmm. It's better than most places Buster takes me. You know Buster, too? Go on, machinist. They eat a lucky tie. 
I, I have to talk to you. I just found the most wonderful thing. I need some really good news. Do you know that Kabuki troops have unions? I mean, they want time and a half. Whoopi! Get the Whoopi! <laughs> Douglas, what a negotiator. How could I have been so blind? Uh, wisdom with experience, being wisdom with experience. <laughs> what a great job. This is only our first day. Well, our first, but the company's last. Look, I'm not a temp secretary. I'm a reporter, and I'm writing an expose on the Kindred Corporation. The final glorious paragraph of which... Now, brace yourself. Jessica Pierce has killed Arthur Strickland. Douglas, why are you smiling? She's a reporter. It's perfect. She'll tell the world that Jessica killed him exactly what we had in mind. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you know what this means? This means that Mr. Kindred could still be at the airport. No, no. Oh, Lord, the visions <gasps> I had of trying to function as a kindred partner for the San Quentin. <laughs> Silly, I'm the one they would have locked up. I'm the one... It means that you have to quit now, pronto. Or are you going to sink with the rest of these rats? I, you? you? Oh, you scumbucket. This whole scheme was never more than a way to get laid. Ah, so what if it was? You know you loved it. Oh, get... You get out. Get... Will you visit me when I'm in prison? Jess, you remember how up there on the roof I foolishly rejected your offer of forgiveness? Well, I accept. And now it's my turn to confess. Where the hell? How the hell? Where is... How did... Uh, who am... Simon. Forgive me. Why? Well, what have you done? Bitch. There you go. It's like downtown Beirut up there. Strickland's dead. That's right. Carolyn killed him. Mr. Kendred! Thank God you're here. I've written it all up. Are you Jessica Pierce? At first, I thought I had killed him. When it was really Franco. Northern. Which he wouldn't have if, 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 if Jessica hadn't cheated and gone behind. 
Are you Pierce? Why do you want her? Don't tell me you're Pierce. Trust me. I have ways of making you forget all about her. <laughs> Jenny, please. Uncle Cyrus. At last. Uncle Cyrus? Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Get it, dudes. See if I've got this straight, though. Carol had killed Strickland and made you think you'd kill him, and then yes. blackmailed you into devising an end run private offering, all yeah. of which is down the tubes, right. because Ginny, who's in love with Peter, thinks yeah. Jessica killed him and plans yes. to use that as a headline for the yeah. expose she's writing. Journalist, what slime, huh? Well, we, we gave her a little something to work with. Fine, look, all I know is we've got to stop Ginny. Yes. Now, whatever it takes, Doug, you bet. agree with right. me. Okay, all right. You... you think you're sick now? Wait till the world sees this. Final paragraph. Uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Cyrus. Cyrus. Look, it's not what it looks like. Everything's safe, right? Okay, right. Mr. Kenry. Hi. Uh, uh, I, uh, you uh, wouldn't, wouldn't believe what's going on around here. He's Strickland. He's, he's dead. He's dead. Caron being killed. He tried to steal my idea for a private. He pretended to be dead just in order to confuse me. You see, it was Shut my up, idea. Doug. Shut up, Doug. Cyrus, look, I can explain everything. Is this the way I taught you to run an investment firm? Is this how you repay me? Oh, you're all fired! Everyone! How's that? Well, maybe you need another lesson. Try this. If you're ever on these premises again, I will have you killed. I don't understand. You're fired! Now then! Goddamn time. Which one of you is Jessica Pierce? Why? Jessica Pierce didn't push him. You did. Yeah. Now, folks, folks, this is not what you think. I come to promote Pierce, not to bury him. It's Strickland we bury. Now then, sir, I, I hate to disappoint you, but Jessica Pierce no longer works here. She doesn't? Sir, the person you're after for new senior partner is far too subtle to make himself obvious. He's a young man whose quiet savvy led not only to the takeover of Northern Electric, but in addition guided him, even today, his very first day, I might add, to a $35.5 million masterstroke in the kindred takeover of Chichester Tobacco and the Gillette Clinics. Isn't that so, Mr. Franco? Every word. He, uh, he's a, a genius. What's he talking about? But more, this young man's instinct for business surpassed only by his instinct for what is good and kind in human nature. Oh. Mr. Kindred, meet your man. Oh, come on. <laughs> Congratulations, Peter. You're our new senior partner. <laughs> My old nephew, eh? What do you get to say for yourself, son? Huh? Well, I wouldn't want to try to pull it off tomorrow without a vice president. Do you want to stay? <laughs> Now listen, kids, uh, what are we going to do about this uh, unpleasant, huh? Appoint someone to take the rap for killing Strickland? Uh, someone who'll get the best lawyers that money can buy and 140000 a year upon his or her release from prison. Now, who's going to be? Oh, hey, hey, hey. No, no, please, please. Please, let me. This place just ain't safe anymore. It's the only way out. I thought he cared. Okay, but come on. You know, it could be a conspiracy with Buster as the ringleader and a slight bump in pay for all the murderous participants. Well, what the hell, huh? Congratulations, you all killed Strickland. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. My friend, you are the luckiest man alive. Lucky hell! I just got fired! Now let's go pick up the guy you landed on.
Deftly handled. Perhaps your best executive decision yet. You weren't so shabby yourself. So now what? It's a mighty small pond. No room for sharks. It's plenty big enough for me. You mean that? I figured it out, Tanner. Sharks never get enough. I'll be damned. Maybe you have changed. Maybe I have. See? Close the door. Of course, I might be able to start a change. 